What's up, Leo? So, when I was getting into your energy, I was hearing, if this is enough, why do I feel this way? Why does she stay on my mind? So, someone is heavy on somebody's mind, and they're like, well, if I don't, you know, if I don't love them, then why do I feel this way? So, someone's questioning why they feel the way they do, either about you, Leo, or vice versa. But let's go ahead and jump into this energy and see what's up. Make sure to check the description box down below for my personal readings, also my tarot decks, and definitely check out the merchandise down below. Either way, let's go ahead and jump in. So, we have financial constraints for you, Leo. For them, oh, yeah, they're the ones that's feeling that way, that caring connection. And then we have strategy. I don't like the strategy card between a couple because it's like games. Like someone's not being authentic and real. Like the thing could be like you could be trying to focus on your money because you feel like you're not in a financial place that you want to be. But this person is feeling the vibe of you and them, Leo. But um, let's go ahead and bring out the tarot deck. I'm going to start with you. And then we'll bring out another tarot deck for your person and see where the vibe is. Beloved, let's use this for your person. I got another one I want to use for you. What's going on with um Leo and their person, please? How's Leo feeling about their person at this time? How's Leo feeling about their person at this time? Thank you so much, beloved. Wow. The Three of Cups. You know, Leo, this is messed up, and I'm going to tell you why. Because I don't feel like that's you that's drowning in this ocean, this sea of love. I feel like this is this person. While you're out there, you're partying and having a good time. Because you're a Leo. I don't, I don't feel like that's you, Leo. So, you got the Four of Wands the star and what else ooh the lovers ooh we got the um six the five of wands the fool strength the knight of swords the eight of cups and the three of wands and for your conjoining energy, you got the Queen of Cups, the High Priestess, and the Ten of Pentacles. Somebody is very, very intuitive. And Leo, if this is your energy that I'm reading over here, because um, the energies could be transferable. Uh, someone's definitely intuitive said hell with the Queen of um, Cups and the um, High Priest. Well, let's see here. What's going on with um, Leo's person? Leo, why do I feel like you got hopes and dreams of, um, if I don't know, if you, you know how they say everybody Ten of Pentacles isn't the same, because you do have the Ten of Pentacles, but you know how everybody say the Ten of Pentacles isn't the same for everyone? So, your Ten of Pentacles could be, Leo, you could be one, you know, financial wealth, friends, stuff like that. Your person is more focused on the love aspect. Let's see. They got the nine of pentacles. The hangman. The hermit. Damn, that's a lot of single energy. The six of pentacles. The seven of swords. The sun. The four of wands. The three of wands. And temperance. And their conjoining energy is the five of wands. The Eight of Cups and the Strength card. And at the bottom of the deck, they got the Queen of Cups. But you know what's interesting? Is with this Queen of Cups, they're pouring out the love. They feel, you know what, Leo? This person feel like you don't love them. Why do I feel like this is you and their energy? Because you got the Queen of Cups over here too. They feel like you don't love them. Like you love everything else that's going on in your, in your life but them. 
I don't know. But let's go ahead and jump into this reading. So yeah, Leo, once again, I feel I feel like um why do I feel like you're all about like establishing your goals, things that you you want in life? Like I feel like you like you're cool with just having sex with somebody or seeing somebody and by the way I hope you're not having sex with somebody else's person or your person's not having sex with somebody else's person but somebody here is having sex with someone else's person just FYI but um I see you being kind of you know cool just hanging out being with your friends your family stuff like that like I don't feel like a relationship is your main focus I feel like anytime when someone is is trying to um you know push a relationship on you or something like that you're like no 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 I'm cool I'm living my best life I'm doing this I'm doing that like I got this go this go this go like I don't think your primary focus is on a relationship I feel like there was something though that caught you off guard something that surprised you and this is the reason why you're kind of not your primary focus isn't on a relationship at this time it's like something else got your attention or is grasping your attention i feel like you're finally getting the opportunity um to look yourself in the mirror and see who you are and exactly what's best for your life not what society says is best for you but what's best for your life you know from your point of view and so on and so forth you know i feel i feel like the last I just feel like the last thing on your mind right now is a relationship. I feel like you got so much other stuff going on. And you might be in a place where you're having a lot of fun, a lot of happiness, a lot of joy from other areas and other arenas. That that's not your primary focus. It's almost, it's almost Leo like you trying to, trying to walk away from a situation and see what else is out there like i i don't know why i feel like to a certain extent leo i'm just gonna be honest with you but you guys know this leo y'all the boss y'all you know i don't care male or female y'all run the damn relationship and so if you don't want it you're not gonna be in it like for you as a leo it's always your choice you know and i feel like this is why this person is over here and this energy of you know this caring connection because they love you they feel for you all of this but whatever you told them whatever got them kind of stuck they don't know what to do like um i feel i don't know why i feel like this person was forced into like a a, a single hood like this isn't something they wanted but like either they were gonna be with you and allow for you to be with other people or stop your lifestyle or whatever it was or um they were just gonna you know allow the breakup or something like that i don't feel like it was a bad breakup but i feel like they see you leo as their ultimate person but it's like i don't know if if they found out about something about you or something like that like you were cheating on them or you were being sneaky or something like that but this is what the cards are telling me like it's like they found something out but they don't care about that they still want to be with you it's like i don't know you bring like stability into their life and stuff but this was this person talking about if it is in love why do i feel this way because you do love leo it is what it is now for strategy like i said it's a game energy and it seems like this is the person that's playing the game primarily because they want you to feel some type of way they're trying to get a reaction or something out of you well leo you know if you keep on doing what you're doing then i'm just gonna leave and you like go go take, take your ass on <laughs> and they're totally like not expecting that or whatnot i feel like i keep saying for you it's like you want to focus on more of what you find to be your ten of pentacles and it might not be a relationship at this time leo I'm just saying. Let's see what else is going on with you and this person. What else is going on with Leo and this person? What else is going on with Leo and this person? What the? 
So I'm hearing a song. I think it was an Aaron Hall song. Do me right. I just want to be your man. I want you to be my girl. Why can't you just do me right? I don't. Lord have mercy. <laughs> someone, yeah. That's the way someone's feeling. Like, they want you, Leo, to just be theirs. And I don't feel like you're going. Let's see here. Dissipating for you. Guilt for them and rejection. So, um, for these cards, I actually, you know, I actually read the meaning of each card. I think I remember most of the stories. But the stories, I mean, really brought the, the, the cards to life. You're like, okay, now I understand how they apply more to the reading. So, for your person, right? So they have this guilt card. And in this story, this person was, they were talking about how this person had worked hard for the company and they wanted to, um, someone wanted to like, um, break the company up. I forget the word they used for it. And they wanted their share, but it was like this person did most of the work and, um, and they didn't feel like it was fair. So the person felt kind of guilty for taking, you know, like 90%, let's just say 90% of the, the funds from the company and leaving them with 10%. So in this card, she's kind of earning her clothes. There's a person in the background, you know, whatever, but she's still chained to that past or whatever. And I feel like how this person is feeling, like this person could have put into a lot to the relationship, at least this is what they're telling me, that they put a lot into the relationship, but they feel guilty for the way that the situation went like they didn't they, maybe they weren't fair in the relationship maybe they they were cheating or not being real or honest or whatever the situation is especially with that seven of swords but it's like they're feeling guilty in a sense of I don't feel like this person is you though I feel like this person here is your person and this is someone else that they left behind maybe for you. That's how I'm getting it, Leo. And they are feeling guilty because now it's happening to them. And sometimes that's what's take because sometimes when you get your karma, then you can look back and be like, damn. Okay, I remember when I did such and such like this. Now I understand the karma. Okay. And then dissipating. So it was talking about this woman and this bird and they wanted always to like do this TV show or something. Then they have the opportunity to and they didn't do it. So they just sat around talking about what could have been done or something like that. I feel like you're in this energy that's dissipating. Dissipating means, you know, for it to dwindle away, to fall away, whatever like that. So I feel like you're in this energy, Leo, of not allowing like opportunities to pass you by. I feel like you're in the midst of grasping these opportunities and putting like love on the back burner. I'm kind of, I'm kind of, um, I'm kind of trying to figure out why financial constraint is there versus like love constraint because I'm not picking up like you are having financial difficulties. I'm picking up the energy of you know like love is the last thing on your mind because financial strength this is what you're grasping after your goals your dreams your ambitions you feel like in relationships those have got past you and that now you're in a situation where these are the only thing you kind of want to work on you know and then this rejection card so in the story it was talking about how this guy um, they called him for jury duty and he was like, oh, they're just going to reject me. They're not going to want me, so on and so forth. But he decided to go anyway. And what, basically what he said came true. Like they didn't want him. And then it was like, like it, what he said was clarified. Right. But I feel like, I feel like in this energy, whoever is playing these games, which I feel like is your person they're getting back exactly what they're saying so maybe they're feeling rejected now because whatever they put out there in this energy is exactly what came back to them okay but either way leo that's the message i have for you hope you enjoyed it please don't forget to like share comment subscribe and i'll see you next time take care